Hello everyone, welcome back. And this will be your general weekly reading for the sign of Aquarius for the week of September 11th through the 17th of 2023. And at this time I'd like to give a very special thank you to all of those who have subscribed to my channel and helping it grow, as well as those who have watched my many videos and given them thumbs up, letting me know that you've watched and enjoyed them. Thank you again for doing that too. That is greatly appreciated. All right, and you're starting out the week with the devil, and that's all right. The worst is over. It's behind you. You know, you've realized a lot of things in your life that needed to be brought to the forefront for many of you. You know, it's been nagging at you for quite some time in the belly, and now you've finally figured out that, you know, you need to do something and have taken full control of it you've figured out what was been holding you back you got more clarity in your life you've set up clear intentions and boundaries for many of you you're also avoiding people places and things that no longer serve you you know you're not ignoring things that's happening around you in your life you're seeing a very clear picture for yourself and the King of Pentacles. So most definitely forging ahead, making solid, you know, grounds for yourself, knowing what you want. You want to be content going forward. You want to make, you know, sound investments. You want to make sure that the things that you're doing in your life right now is going to stick around for the long run. You know, you don't want to be, you know, ripping the band-aid off and find out that you're still not doing well you want to make sure that it's you know healing correctly and that's in your soul as well as your surroundings your your family life you know you're finding that as you're taking more control of your situations and what you want to have in the future for your solid foundation it's working out this week you have a clearer vision of it Yeah, and you're being very careful about it with the death card. You know, you realize that there's things that's happened in your past that has led you to where you are now. And your thought patterns and the steps that you take in life going forward. And you're also realizing that there's many things that you've had to deal with in the recent past that were uncomfortable for many of you. But you've realized that once you close the doors on different areas of in, in your life that maybe you should have re closed them a long time ago but haven't for whatever reason. Once you start to do that, it also opens better doors for you, more brighter future horizons. You know, it starts to illuminate what you want to have. So you're glad for what you've learned. And it's taught you a lot. Your past has taught you a lot. You've now opened your eyes to see in your true surroundings. And you're overcoming many, many things in your life that perhaps you were a little bit timid of doing. But now find the courage to do it with quite ease. And the Six of Cups. Yeah, a little bit of nostalgia, you know. We all deserve that sometimes, just happy memories from our childhood. Maybe you've ran into somebody you haven't seen for a while or you're sitting around talking to some people and, you know, you have a mutual friend in common and, you know, it just brings that smile back. Oh, do you remember when we lived next door to so-and-so, that sort of thing. So overall, it turns out to be quite a contentment in your heart. It makes you feel good. Nine of Swords. So some of you have been quite worried and, and stressing out over some things in your life. And you've lost quite a bit of sleep about it. But you're also realizing that it's okay because I've already dealt with it, you know, by whatever means. Now I just need to let it go. I can't keep bringing it up and over and over and over again because, you know, it's serving you no purpose to do so, to rehashing it over in your head. And you're going to realize this week that you can let that go and still move forward in your life. 
and the world card. So most definitely you have, you know, come to some sort of crossroad in your life. You know, you're finishing up with something and you're starting new quite quickly. It's just going to happen almost natural. You know, it's not that you haven't been thinking about it or whatever and it's been dealt with, but you're just a little more at ease this week with your your choices and your you know the roads your life has taken over which has taught you and brought you to where you are now so you're doing okay that way you're starting to even consider maybe taking a trip for some of you in the future some place that you wanted to go maybe you've you know wanted to travel back home you haven't been there in a long time so you're looking into how much it would cost you what time is the best time of year that sort of thing maybe you haven't been there since you know maybe you were a child and the queen of pentacles but you want to be secure and sound you want to make sure that your you know your accounts are all in order your bank accounts growing not depleting you're looking for best bargains. You're not trying to overspend. You're quite aware of your surroundings, you know, and what you have to have, especially in this day and age of how much is coming in versus how much is going out. And if this is a business deal for some of you that you're thinking of starting, it'll be a sound one. It will, you know, it's on a good, solid foundation because you're doing your homework to make sure that what you're actually seeing is what's really there you're not trying to you know put rose colored glasses on and not seeing what the bigger picture is and the knight of cups so there it is you know there's a travel in the future for yourself you now this could be usually by um means of boat it doesn't necessarily have to be it could be a cruise line as well or this could be just a simple offer of love somebody giving you something because they like you it's not that they have any expectations of anything other than to you know let you know that maybe you've just let them talk to you for many times and you know you just listen to all their woes in life and it made them feel connected to you so they're trying to offer you a thank you in a in a form and the king of rods yeah you're motivated to making changes this week most definitely in your surroundings your home life your family life you're making a plan for yourself and it looks like absolutely a plan for a trip in the future you know you're on a better path now you're understanding more about what's been going on you're no longer living in denial or putting shades on you can see things for what's really happening and the tower so that's just giving you a little more clarity insight you got that sudden flash of okay this is what's really going on here and you're not living in denial of it anymore you can see everything just as clear as the day so you're making sure that your surroundings going forward from here is going to be your finances are going to be in order your life is going to be in order you're going to have people around you that support you your friendships all of those you want to be on solid foundation because what you thought was very secure this is the week that you actually got that clarity saying that no it wasn't this is your wake-up call you know so therefore you're taking proper steps for to protect yourself making sure that your house is clean your you know everything around you is in order so that you're not questioning what's coming at you anymore no more surprises you can see it quite clearly and you're setting yourself free with the intent of making sure everything's in balance yeah and the two of swords so there it is you know you're just sort of you're realizing things you're just not taking action on any one thing right now perhaps you're, you're handling a whole lot of things at the same time this week and the two of rods so yeah you got the whole world in front of you and you're realizing that for all the possibilities that's out there you're on solid foundation you don't have to worry anymore and the five of 
Pentacles. So a little bit of a setback for some of you. It seems like this reading is mostly about your finances. You're a little bit worried about how the future is going to go for you, how you're going to make ends meet, that sort of thing. But you'll do it. It's in your nature to make sure that you're secure and that's what you're moving towards. You're no longer going to keep worrying about, you know, if I spend a dime, will it cost me a quarter? You're on solid foundation. You're moving forward. You're understanding what you have to do and where you come from. So you're doing all right, Aquarius. All right. And your angel oracle card. To help heal this situation, see the other person's point of view with compassion. All right. And on that note, I will say goodbye for now. Remember to subscribe to my channel and I will talk to you again next week. Bye for now.